Hello! I haven't made one of these videos in a while, I've just been busy with other projects. But this one's another script you can download and use yourself in the missions. This one is a multiplayer safe parachute uh, example script. And it's uh, based around a forum thread where someone was struggling to sort out the locality issues associated with creating a script like this. I'm going to break with format slightly. I'll show you how to use the script yourself as per normal. And then at the end of the video, I'll just go into the um, problems you might encounter trying to make this sort of script yourself. I'll tell you when to leave <laughs> if you're not interested in that sort of thing. So, to get the script working yourself, there's a demo in the bottom of this video's description. You can download that and just press preview if you're interested in how... Uh, things are working. We've got two transport helicopters named TR1 and TR2. And we've got a few units here that have been given the command to move into their cargo slots at the beginning of the mission. When we enter this trigger area here, the condition is uh, transport one in this list. Once that condition's met, this code down here in the on activation box is run via the server. If you're not familiar with how um, execute, the execute command works, anything after the equals sign, zero equals, anything inside this array here is one of the vehicles you want the units to be ejected out of. So transport one, transport two. If I had a third transport, I could just add transport three. Minimum you need one, uh, you can have as many as you want in any instance. So when we hit preview, uh, we're in the chopper. And uh, we'll speed things up because everyone's seen people fall out of helicopters before in this game. The only commentary I'll add is that you might notice the parachutes have a bit of back drift when they come out of the helicopter. And that's because I've given them the same velocity properties as the helicopter they've just jumped out of. So obviously if you jumped out of a moving plane, you'd also be moving in the same direction as the plane initially until you slow down. So that's what you're seeing here. Uh, it's just a little extra I added. Okay, and this is the part where you can uh, go away if you don't want to listen to me talk about the scripting problem. Hopefully you'll enjoy the mission demo. Uh, hopefully you'll be able to use that in your own mission. Thanks for watching. Uh, for the rest of you, the problem with the server running a parachute script is the assign to vehicle command. Um, in the demo you'll find there's two different scripts. We'll come back to this one that creates the shoot itself in a minute. The first script we run, run from the trigger is the server starts drop script. And we'll start from the outermost scope as we explain the issue. Uh, this is obviously the array of the vehicles, Transport 1 and Transport 2 as we called them, being passed to the script. Uh, then this interior script is run for, for each of the vehicles. And what we look at is the vehicle's name, we get that to start with, then we find the driver of the vehicle, and the question we ask in the next for each statement is for each member of the full crew array, which is a list of all the players, AI, crew members, non-crew members, anybody on board the aircraft or vehicle, we ask the question, are they a member of the driver's group or are they a different group? If they're a different group, then we run the crate, sh the crate shoot script, which ejects them and creates them a parachute. And that's done through the BISFUNK multiplayer. And in the slot here, you'll usually say see the word true or false. You can also use objects, and that will run the script only on the locality or the, the location, the computer, where the unit is local or the object is local to. So that's a really useful feature of uh, BISFUNK multiplayer. In this script also we're getting the interval between the jumps, so 0 0.6 seconds is my default for that. You can change it if you want to. 
from here on in, it's probably pretty simple. I'll just explain some reasoning behind what I've done here. The unit action get out that could have been running the previous script by the server. I haven't read the action uh, wiki for a while, but I'm pretty sure action commands are if run by the server, then the clients will be affected by them um, if the client's name or unit is used. This is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, obviously the shoot could be created by the server as well. However, I've just gone with the simple logic that since whenever a player takes control of a shoot, it then becomes local to their computer anyway, why not just create it locally? on their computer and that just saves the transfer. Might be an improvement, might not be an improvement. You can decide, uh, experiment with it if you want to. That's just my thinking and I knocked this up in about five minutes so... And then this is the problem command here uh, where I discovered the problem was. The assigning in driver and moving driver. That can't be used from a server on a player. It's got to be used where the unit is local. And the last thing, I've just uh, used the set velocity example from the wiki, and I've given it the same velocity properties, at the shoot, the same velocity properties as the aircraft from which the players jumped out of. And that's my solution to the problem. The reason I just explained all that is, in theory, all you need to do in this script is write the assign driver and the moving driver commands and you could do the rest on the server if you wanted to. Um, your choice. Hopefully that's useful to you if you're trying to create a parachute script.